this is Nikki and I'm here to do an energy read. Um, so I've been doing personal reads for um, people this today and I just thought oh I'll just have a quick do one for um, the collective and, and then because if you had a look today at um, this week I did a, a union read and the overall energy was the caring connection and when I did the cards um, what is in the Divine Counterparts headspace is the caring connection. So I thought, okay, well, I will share it because I was just going to do it just for uh, for me to have a look. But then I thought, no, I should share it with everyone. So basically what I do is I do down the left-hand side is the Divine Counterpart. So it's what's going on in their head, what's in their heart, what's in their, what are they wanting. And then the key thing to know and also then the energy they're taking from the union and then some guidance and then similarly for us and what's at the bottom so right at the bottom is basically that we are journeying into the light into each other's soul because we are on a soul journey back together and so um that is the overall picture basically so I'm just going to go through them because again it is quite lovely um and just gives a really good Again, just gives a really good insight on what is happening. And so basically what's on their mind is this sense of wanting to create change in their life because they're wanting to have a more intimate, more caring, more loving, more everything basically. That, you know, these relationships uplift your heart, uplift your soul. And so because of that, that's what they're wanting. They're wanting to create the change in their life to in order to have this very intimate and love basically love 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 which is perfect considering that valentine's day is just around the corner so no wonder we would be on their minds um and then what it's at the what's at the heart of them is this sense of wanting to have everything the strategy card which is basically the strategy and then being constrained by situations and all of the practical things that happen um, when either you are moving out of a relationship moving in you know all of those things that have to happen it's basically you know it's always practical things that get in the way and so that is what is at the heart of them that is wanting to have all doorways to open up so they can be on this love journey with you because this is number if you look at this card then basically it's all doorways lead to the light it's number six it's love right all doorways lead to love and light and so that is what they're wanting they're wanting to have basically a strategy of how to move forward Right. But actually what happens is the divine steps in and the strategy is all written in our hearts anyway. But they have this feeling of feeling constrained by their practical situations. And so what they're wanting is them to go away because what they're feeling is this anxiety and wanting to be out of the situations they're in, wanting to be in this relationship with you. They want that now. So, and that is also very much played out in the letters that have been coming through recently. It's just like, can't we just for, fast forward this bit? You know, the messy bit in the middle. Can't we just be together? And this is what they're thinking. Can't we just be together now? I want to create the change. I want to have already done it. You know, I want us to just be together. And so... This is why they're having this, they're wanting this anxiety to go. Because it's not a nice place when you know you have to move out of situations and, you know, that's that does create a lot of anxiety. But the guidance is, and this is why it's so lovely, because the guidance for them is, it's okay, don't worry, this relationship is a blessed relationship. So it's going to come to you no matter what. So just try and relax. So, you are moving toward a deepening of intimacy in a unique and sacred partnership. You know you are meant to make this connection. This union is blessed by the divine and will bring transformation and beauty to the world. 
This is also a sign that, even more important, you're being called to a deeper intimacy with yourself and with spirit. With this new development, you will see evidence of grace in your life. Well, so it's so lovely because their guidance says, don't worry, this is a blessed relationship. It's meant to make you um, realise that you deserve love, right? And so the other guidance is the spirit of place. And this is so lovely because it's saying that spirit lives in all things. And this is, again, especially what we've been seeing. I've been channeling a lot of letters for people um, from their animals and of course it's been the twin spirit that has been coming through so the fact that this card has come up is quite lovely because authenticity is the essence of power our ancient ancestors believed that every place has a spirit looking after it or embodying it just as we have a soul the plants trees birds mountains and rivers have their own essences when the spirit of place arrives in your reading, it says that the answer to your query is in the overarching theme of your circumstances. Is your question about a struggle? The answer is to relax and let go of your need to control the situation. If your inquiry relates to finding love, then embody love rather than long for it. Once you find the essential truth that underlies your question and then name it, you'll discover the answer you've been seeking. Your greatest power is in your authenticity. Well, you know, because then this relationship is blessed. You know, they're saying your greatest power, power is opening yourself up to your authenticity. And then the other message is this. It's basically the tree, which is so lovely because I do a crystal grid, which is all based around the forest lovers who are entwined together for eternity around the oak tree. And the message is, with the tree is this, it's been a long, hard climb, but finally you are being given the opportunity to pause and reflect on how far you've come. As you look around, you'll be amazed to see just how much you've accomplished. And, you know, this is what is, is quite, again, it's lovely because basically the key thing for them is to know that actually all doorways will open to love. Right, all doorways will lead to you, to the to the connection. So actually, take control. Take don't you know? In the same way, we're always being told, you know, expect the unexpected and don't try to control the situation. That's the exact guidance that they're getting. Don't worry, the strategy will all work out. Let the anxiety pass. Know that all doorways will lead to love trust in your connection because it is true love and you are on a journey back to each other you're on a journey back to union you're on a journey back to true love and so then the guidance for us what's going on in our heads is well we're thinking about the sacred about transformation basically um, it's number 11 as well. So we're thinking that we know that, you know, that basically we are in this green dress, right? It's all about healing. It's all about creating balance. It's all about, you know, being the balance to let the transformation happen from within and around and all around us. And so what's at the heart of us is then this, this, the, the genie and the lamp and the pyramids and the angel of balance because again it is about knowing at the heart of us we will be victorious in these relationships because the key thing for us to know is that we are getting there right the more that we are working with the golden energy the more we are being able to release expectations on how these relationships should come in the more that we focus on knowing that we are expanding our cosmic heart, and this is the healer of the ages, you know, this is what we want. We want to heal that we want to heal the planet. We want to bring balance in. We want to be victorious on this journey, and we will be. Because um, the guidance for us is the observer card, and it is the fox. Now, and we also have the wishing well card. And we also have the Northern Lights, which is the universe is trying to tell us something. 
which is so lovely. I love this card. The universe is trying to tell you something. Be open to receiving the information from the invisible realms. Perhaps you will have a significant dream or a friend will deliver an unusual message. So it is about trusting, 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 trusting in the universal messages that come in all of the signs that are coming. Um, use the power of the fox to help you and your twin get out of situations that you no longer need to support your soul growth, right? And looking at all your situations, if you are in karmic situations, people, places, all of that, then know that it's part of your soul growth and that is happening for a reason. Um, so look at it objectively. Observe what you're in. So the observer is this. Sometimes you can't see the forest for the trees in your way. Feelings can get all jumbled up and often you hear one thing when a person says another. It can be like an echo of an unresolved past experience dubbed over your conversation. Take time out before you react. It's likely the other person has no idea how his or her words have affected you. Take a few steps back and lend understanding to the situation. Have faith in your connection and trust that you can come together. Take to higher ground now and cultivate curiosity about what you observe in yourself, in others and in the landscape. You will find things much improved sooner than you know. So, gorgeous, because it says, no matter what it looks like, believe that you can come together. And the other card, the other guidance for us is the wishing well, which is keep wishing upon those stars and keep dreaming big, keep believing in miracles. So, desire is the most important impulse for creating life. Now you're seeing the relationship between desire and inspiration. And sensing that moment of truth when you feel the inception of new life. It is an aha moment when everything makes sense. Perhaps you recognise a soulmate. The Wishing Well card awakens you to the presence of unseen forces that enable new beginnings. Divine intelligence activates the field of possibilities where new life is co-created in a magical way. Neither you nor anyone else can know how or why this happens. It just does. To that end, you cannot control the process of growth. Rather, you must step aside to be a channel for higher forces and relinquish any attachment to how this new creation should appear or when. Form your intention and take action by dropping the coin into the wishing well and then trust in spirit and be prepared to be amazed. Well, because the union energy in the middle then is opening up more and more to our crown. So we're becoming more and more intuitive. We're listening more and more to our souls. We're wanting to create change in our life all over our life because we want to live by our soul. And at the heart of us then we have the strategy of how we're gonna to come together is written in the divine hands, basically. So we have no need to feel tied into things because actually, you know, this is a mindset. Feeling tied up is a mindset. So in order to create the change, it's about breaking free from that mindset because the overall energy at the bottom then is walking away. And this is a walking away. It's number 27. It's walking out of the gate into freedom, into unconditional love, leaving behind everything that we don't need anymore. And so it's about trusting in that journey, right? It's trusting that we are both on a journey, both on a soul mission to be in this caring relationship. And that's why this is on our divine counterparts' minds, because for both of us, we are journeying back to each other's soul. All right, I hope that helps. Take care, bye.